Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bookshelf reorganization kind of thing. I just moved back home from college for the summer and obviously I have all of my books that were on my bookshelves at my apartment now here and I need to like do something with them. So I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of bookshelf reorganizing because I don't know exactly what I'm planning to do with these yet on these shelves because there's not a lot of room. I have like a little six cube organizer over here and I'm gonna do a little bit of reorganizing here. And we're honestly just gonna see how it goes because I don't have any plans, no plans at all. I literally moved all my stuff back yesterday but the first thing I wanted to do was organize my books, so. That's what we're doing today. Also, while I organize these books, I thought it would be fun to answer the questions that I asked you guys for on a recent post because I hit 5,000 subscribers, which is actually insane. I just need to take like a moment to officially thank you guys because I actually can't believe it. Like the fact that there's 5,000 of you right now is not clicking in my brain and I don't think it will, but I'm incredibly thankful. So thank you for subscribing. And I'm excited to get into the questions that you guys had. A lot of you also congratulated me on 5,000 and you're all so kind, so thank you all for your lovely messages. And yeah, I don't really know what the structure of this video is gonna be. Yeah, I think I, I just need to like start working on these. Just like the wall of books. We're just gonna get into it. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to organize these stacks that I have brought down from up there. Um, just to kind of get an idea of where I wanna put them. And while I do that, I'm gonna answer some questions, so. First question, are there any genres or specific books that are out of your comfort zone slash typical reads that you would like to try reading and getting into? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, I want to try at some point, I don't know, this is a big baby, I want to try and read sci-fi at some point because it's not something I think I'll be into, but I don't think I can completely write it off as a genre until I like read a proper sci-fi book, so I feel like I need to give it a try, but I don't know where to start. Like, the automatic um, thing that kind of comes to my mind is to read Dune because, duh, but I just don't know. I just have no idea where to start with the genre, so if you have any good recommendations for me as far as sci-fi goes, please let me know. I make no promises that I would read them anytime soon, but I want to, like, just try it before I'm like, ew, I don't like sci-fi. Because right now I'm like, ew, I don't like sci-fi. All right, another question is, if you were able to live in any book, which would it be? There's so many options. Actually, maybe since this one is right here, I'd love to live in Elfheim, um, just because it sounds, you know, a little brutal, but also fairies. It sounds like a lot of fun. Either Elfheim or maybe like Middle Earth, which I feel like is such like, a typical answer, but honestly, it just sounds so lovely there. Aside from like, you know, the death and destruction, um, but I think that's over now. So, maybe Middle Earth. That sounds kind of fun. I'm gonna go with that one. Another question. Places you would like to visit. Oh my god, so many places. I'd basically love to go like anywhere in Europe. Definitely like Paris and London. The basics. Portugal, maybe? Where else? I'd love to go to Japan. Like, obviously, it's beautiful there. I'd love to visit like South Korea. It also looks beautiful there. Honestly, I'd just love to go more places in the US because I've gone like a lot to the Midwest, but I've never gone like to the Northeast or the Northwest. And then what are some of your favorite music artists? Honestly, I don't have a lot of music artists that I'm like absolutely hardcore for. Uh, mainly just like Ariana Grande. I think I, oh, I've been listening to Ariana Grande for such a long time probably since like 2013. Definitely been a huge fan ever since. Positions, honestly, maybe my favorite album of hers though. It's so good, but also yours truly, I don't know, I don't know. But also um, just other artists that I like to listen to, like casually, I really like Whitney Houston. Victoria Monet is really good. A lot of her songs are so good. A lot of like random K-pop songs that I listen to, not any artists specifically, maybe Red Velvet. I do love a lot of their title tracks. Would you ever host a readathon? Honestly, that sounds so fun. I'd love to host a readathon. I mean, I've only done one, 
and it was a readathon that I did on my own. But I had a lot of fun and I would love to participate in a readathon but doing them like during the school year is really hard for me because of like engineering. <laughs> It's a pain in my ass. I want to participate in more readathons this summer though, for sure. Like, that's not the question, but I really want to like be aware of them and do them because they look like so much fun. Who are your top three favorite booktubers? Oh my gosh. Um, definitely Books with Chloe. She's one of the first booktubers that I ever started watching and I just love her. Books with Leo. Her, oh my god, the aesthetic of her videos is always so gorgeous and it's something I aspire to. I just think all of her videos are so nice to look at. And then the last one is definitely a frolic through fiction. I just love Ashley so much and I love hearing her talk about books. I love their videos. Oh, people are so talented, I swear. And I'm going to pause on the questions for just a moment here and attempt to organize these because <laughs> there's no organizing going on whatsoever. I've just made like 15 different piles and none of it makes any sense. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up my organizing and we'll figure something out here. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to deal with these shelves first just because um, I think I'm gonna put books that I am less like, like less series because I like the way series look on shelves and I want series to be like in the background of my videos more. I think I might put Throne of Glass on this shelf though just because I think it might take up I don't know. I'm just gonna put it there. We're gonna see how it looks. I have more Sarah J Mass, which I might put more of it. I'm gonna grab the Sarah J Mass. These are the only other two I have, so this should be fine. While I attempt to do this, I think I'm gonna put it on the top here. I'm going to answer another question. Okay, who is my absolute favorite book character of all time? I am very tempted to say James Carstairs. You know, Jem. But that's such a basic answer and you were all expecting it, so. Let me think. I think I'm gonna put these here, actually. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my god. Maybe I'll just put the rest of my Sarah J Mass on this shelf because I have some paperbacks as well. Honestly, I really do think I have to pick Jem just because... Yeah, that's the answer. It's Jem. Um, yeah, I wanted to pick something a little more creative, but I, that's just how it is. Also, I know these are out of order. It's just because Mist and Fury is, like, slightly shorter than these two and I don't want to put it in the middle because I'm weird and it would bother me. I don't know what I'm gonna put here though. Mm, I think I might put my Victoria Schwab and Tolkien books here just because they've been on the same shelf of my bookshelf for such a long time. So I kind of want to do something different with that shelf. So I think I might put them here. Ooh, are my Schwab books. While I'm figuring out um, the order that I want these to be in, I'll answer another question. <laughs> a book you wish you could read for the first time again. Oh my god, so many books. But actually, the first one that comes to mind is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Just because I wish I had known like a little bit less about this book before I started reading it. I didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but I had like an idea and I would love- I'm not even organizing these things. And I would love to have read that book not knowing anything. I would have just been absolutely destroyed. Honestly, like, the same kind of concept goes for Clockwork Princess because I knew, like, things- no, actually, I kind of knew exactly what was going to happen in that one, and that was also upsetting. Um, because I was like, wow, if I hadn't known what was going to happen, this would have, like, absolutely wrecked me, and I just want a book to absolutely wreck me sometime, you know? It hasn't happened because I go into books knowing too much. A book that you wish you could erase from existence? Oh, wow. That's a great question, though. I'm going to think while I organize these, and I'm going to give you an answer when I get back, for sure. It's editing, Katie. <laughs> and I don't know how I didn't think about the answer to this question. Like, I know what it is. It's so plain to see. I don't know why I couldn't figure out what the answer to this question should be when I was like actually answering it because I despise this book with every fiber of my being. I just don't think about it a lot and that is the second book in the Twilight series, New Moon. That book is literally so bad. I hate the book. I hate the movie. It does nothing to progress the plot. Edward's not in it, so like, why would I be interested? And it just sucks. I mean, they all kind of suck, but that one sucks the most. Favorite videos you've ever made? Okay, I definitely have a couple that I really love. I love the, um, a lot of them are reading vlogs just because I love seeing, like, my first thoughts on 
books that I was like reading at the time and now I love. I wish I would have made a reading vlog for when I read The Infernal Devices but I'm stupid and I didn't. But I love my reading vlogs for Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. Like they're not that good but I love seeing what my thoughts were and kind of just like my reactions to everything that was going on because obviously I love that series. I made a reading vlog last year where I read like spooky books around this time and I don't even know why I love that video but I just think it's fun and I kind of want to do that concept again and I think I'm going to for sure. I do have two things right here that I need to take both of these bins out because I'm gonna put something here um but I don't know what yet so was I in the middle of answering a question? Uh, guys I'm so tired I'm so sorry um yeah I'm gonna switch to a different angle and we're gonna work on the shelves up there because I want to make like a another YA fantasy shelf above my Shadowhunter shelves. Sorry if the lighting's looking kind of whack right now. It's so dark outside because it's raining. I almost said it was snowing <laughs> because it's raining outside and I just really wanted to film this video now. I was too tired to like actually do moving but I was not too tired to do this. <laughs> so um dream video to make. Oh my god I don't know. I have like a lot of like ideas for videos that I want to film soon but I don't know if I consider any of them like dream videos. They're kind of just videos that I would like to film. I'll think about this and I'll get back to you <laughs> at the end of the video. If I could have a picnic with three fictional characters who would you choose and why? Let me think. I'm gonna think and I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> I was planning on putting on the rest of that shelf. Could you imagine I just gave it its own shelf? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, but it ain't that pretty. Um, who's coming to my picnic? I can't think of like anybody I seriously want to go on a picnic with. So I'm just gonna choose, um, we're gonna have like a hot guy picnic, all right? We're gonna invite Cassian, obviously. Thomas Cresswell can come because I love him. And um, Jest from Heartless can come. Um, but if I was gonna like pick, like seriously pick people, I think I would pick Elaine from Akatar just because she's like, she seems like she has this like cottagecore kind of vibe going on. I think I would also pick Lizzie from Pride and Prejudice. Cordelia can also come to my picnic. I need to figure out what I'm doing with this shelf because I don't know. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. Maybe I'll put my Tolkien books up here. I'm gonna revisit this shelf. I'm gonna work on my black shelf, I think. Before I actually get back into it, I'm gonna have a little chocolate break. Just because I have this bowl of candy sitting here, which is not good. Um, and a lint chocolate sounds really good right now. Truly divine. Let me get another question going here. What is my number one favorite book and what song do I associate with it? Because if I was gonna choose a number one favorite book, it would definitely be Clockwork Prince, but I don't really have a song that I associate with it. But I do have a bunch of other song, like books that I like that I associate like very random songs with. Where is it? It? Can you see that? Yeah. Right? <laughs> This has nothing to do with it, but it's a song that every time it comes on, I think of it and my time reading it because I was, I read this book in like a week and during that week I was obsessed with like this specific song and that's You Can't Stop Me by Twice. It came out in like 2020, in like October maybe, and that's when I was reading this book. So every time that song comes on, I think about it, which is really random, but I have a couple of other songs like that. Um, City of Bones, I associate with So What by, oh, I know it has Sierra in it, but I don't know who the other people are. But I was listening to that song a lot when I was listening, or when I was reading that book as well. Chain of Iron and Chain of Gold, I associate with the entire Planet Her album by Doja Cat, because again, I was reading those books when that album came out. I just remember like listening to that album on repeat the same week that I was reading Chain of Iron specifically and now every time I hear Imagine, I for some reason think of Chain of Iron and it's really funny because like none of these songs have anything to do with the content of these books but just like by association I always think of them and I think it's really funny. If I was stranded on a desert island and could only have three books with me, which three would you choose? 
and why. All right, I think I'd pick a long one just for funsies. I think it's not down here. Is it down here? Ah, it is down here. I think I might take The Way of Kings um, by Brandon Sanderson just because it's long, it's dense. I feel like there's a lot that went on in this book that I didn't even necessarily pick up on the first time I read it. And I feel like there's just a lot to this story that could be thought about, read again, all that kind of stuff. So this would be a good option. Maybe like, um, honestly, <laughs> Since it's here, I'd take Twilight just for fun. Um, don't get me wrong, these books aren't good, but they certainly are entertaining. Honestly, I'm just looking for things that are in my reach right now. <laughs> Maybe I would take like a fun little romance just because if I'm stranded on a desert island, I'm probably not having a good time. So like, I haven't read this book yet, but we have people we meet on vacation. Maybe it's like a little tropical island that I'm deserted on get in the mood I don't know just like something you know I need like a wide variety here so we got some fantasy we got the paranormal I guess this is also romance whatever <laughs> these are my my deserted island selections <laughs> what two superpowers would you combine if you could have any mm, much to think about let me stew on this question while I figure out what I'm doing with this shelf and um, I'll get back to you the question in that entire time I was organizing these. Um, okay. Good job, Katie. I think for fun, I would love the power of invisibility. Maybe super strength? I don't know. I feel kind of weak most of the time, so that might be something nice to add to my repertoire. Okay, and what is my dream job? Honestly, my dream job, as far as like a job that's actually in the field that I am going into, um, I'm an engineering major at the moment, so I would like to work for Disney, like in their Imagineering department. Like that's been a dream since I was young. I've been going to Disney for like the longest time and it just sounds fun. But a job that's like not in my field, I would love to own like my own secondhand bookstore. Sounds so quaint. It sounds, I can't start thinking about it or I'm gonna drop out. Uh, let's see, if you could write a book, what would it be about? I 100% could not write a book. But I do know that if I were to ever attempt to write a book, it would be spooky middle grade. Just because, first of all, I don't think I have the um, the fortitude to write something like super long. And I feel like middle grades are usually like 200 to 300 pages. Like, I feel like I could maybe manage that. And I just love spooky middle grade. Like scary stuff that's not like too scary. It sounds like a good time. I feel like that'd be super fun. It would definitely be like paranormal. There would be ghosts. There would be a haunted house. It would be super cliche, but I would love it. <laughs> Let me answer these last two questions that are here and then I will figure out what I am planning to do with the rest of these books that are sitting on the ground. So the next question is favorite book of all time. It is Clockwork Prince. I love that book. I've read it like four times. <laughs> favorite for the Grishaverse probably Crooked Kingdom. I love Crooked Kingdom. I heard some Crooked Kingdom slander the other day and I was very upset about it. They said that it was boring and it's like not boring. Like it's not as action-packed as the first one but it's still really good. And then the last question I have here is what is my favorite thing to bake because I show a lot of baking things in my like vlogs and stuff and if we're going like favorite thing to bake like kind of <laughs> not really it's microwave brownies. I love microwave brownies. I don't have to actually put it in the oven. It's pretty low cost, pretty low mess, instant gratification. Come on now. But if I'm going to like actually go to the trouble to bake something, cook something, to bake something, I think I might have to go with maybe like a pumpkin loaf. I love pumpkin. That sounds so good and I really want some pumpkin loaf now. Um, so yeah, there's my answer to that one and those are all the questions but i'm not done organizing my books oh i left a vishwa book out of the thing i'm gonna go do a, a wee bit of organizing off camera just because a lot of these like there's a lot of different places that these need to go and i'm already overwhelmed by looking at them so um i will be back with a little overview i still don't know what i'm gonna do with the top shelf of this shelf yet I might honestly have to forego the six cube organizer just because I don't think I have like quite enough books for it yet, which is shocking, I know. 
Also, I kind of want to do like a little unhaul soon, so I feel like I'll have enough space on my shelves. I'll update you in a little bit. Um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> okay, so that is the video. Here is a quick little overview pan of my shelves. Honestly, not a lot has changed. I had to add another like area where I put my books right there because typically I just like Put whatever there but now it is where all of my victoria schwab books are currently residing just little tweaks have been made not a lot so to everybody who sent me a question thank you so much i had a lot of fun answering them and yeah just thanks again for 5k <laughs> i still can't believe it so yeah that's the video i'm sorry if it was like a little chaotic i don't know I'm just like kind of tired, but I really wanted to organize my book. So I'm glad that I got the opportunity to film it for you guys. Hopefully this was interesting. Um, we'll see. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.